Bar is Ankle High, your weekly ADHD podcast that explores life's low bars with wit and wisdom. I'm Katie. I'm Garrett. And this is episode 82. Um, if you want <laughs> if you want extended episodes, uh, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash the bar is ankle high. They get video episodes and extended cut episodes, both of which are completely ad-free. And they also get bonus episodes. Uh about once a month we're averaging right now. <laughs> um, so you also get added to our close friends list on Instagram if that's something that you're interested in. So head over there to, uh, again, patreon.com slash the bars ankle high to join our Patreon for just five bucks a month. Um, and you get all those benefits. So if you want the extended cut of this episode, that's where you get it. And it was a hell of an intro. I can tell you that much. It was. It was. It was. I mean, honestly, we probably could have done a obesity brain update. Probably. With- <laughs> Maybe we'll do oh, that I'd for uh, to come out uh, when we have to pre-record everything when I'm out of the country. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. That's yeah. a good idea. Um, do we have any other housekeeping? Um, not at the moment. Oh, I do have an update on our sponsors, though. So um, if you do listen to our ads, you've noticed that we have some new sponsors, one of which is Liquid IV. And I got this one. If you're watching us on Patreon, it's the um, immune support. Yeah, immune support one, which I was a little bit hesitant on just because, I don't know, like we've talked a lot about skepticism when it comes to certain claims made by things that you ingest or put are told to put in your body. Um, that being said, I've taken emergency before and like put that into a cup oh, yeah. of water. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, well, it's got to be similar. Um, this is a tangerine flavor and it is fucking delicious <laughs> it's so good tangerine. oh my god it I is i did i got like a sampler oh my god them. it's so yummy i can't um, like i might turn into like a, an avenger at how much i've had this immune support in my body at this point i don't care it's so good yeah. it's so i mean good. that's like me with the oranges like there was yes. nights where i had like two oranges because i was like it just it's just so good and fresh yes and maybe it's the time of year where i'm like oh this mm-hmm. orange is just fucking hitting but yes. oh man, so yeah, definitely order yourself some liquid IV and tangerine, and use our promo code uh, Ankle High to get twenty percent off. Because holy yeah. shit, so fucking! I was like blown away at how good it was. <laughs> we um we actually just so I I swear by the liquid IV. I've been using that for a few years. Um, and I usually have like a packet a day. Um, because sometimes like I, I'm just having a really hard time drinking water. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's also like kind of that like dopamine thing. Like I want to drink something that tastes Just like a something. little flavor to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the premise um, behind like crystal light. So like. Yeah. And that's what we just got. One, <laughs> We just got like a one of the variations of a soda stream. Oh, yeah. With the CO2 things, because sometimes just like having a little bit of like carbonation or like, you know, a lemon and sparkling water mm-hmm. is just like I'm still getting water. <laughs> yes. But there's like something to it. <laughs> yeah. My something, brain is yeah. like, I won't drink water. I yeah, won't. Yeah. I mean, there are times like there are times where like I just need ice water, plain water, mm-hmm. and that's what I need. But then there's other times where like I really do need that flavor to like yeah. get me to be interested in finishing the water. Because that's the other thing that I do struggle with, even at work, where I have the same bottle in a different color, but mm-hmm. I think it's 40 ounces. Um, but earth. It might be 32. Um, either way, I'll take I'll fill it with water and have a few sips and then be done with it. But if I have a little bit of a flavor to it, it like keeps me going back to it um for whatever reason. But it works, man. But yeah, I couldn't I had to bring it in because I was like, this fuck this is so good. <laughs> yeah. It's um, um it's really nice. I'm yeah. I'm good. Like I need that like during the day. Mm-hmm. At night, I'm fine, like pounding Same. ice water. Yeah, same. Um, but like during the day when I'm just like doing stuff, man, the the liquid IV is like clutch because I need to trick myself. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like how periodically I have to buy myself a water bottle. Yeah, I also find that when I have the liquid IV, I don't pee as much. Like 
I don't pee as much as I would if I were drinking like twice as much water. Like, I guess I thought like so with the liquid we're, like, IV. retaining the hydration better. Yes. I like, I think that's part of it. I'm only so, a like, fox doctor. Like, I can't speak to hydration science. <laughs> They're going to send us an, e- an email and be like, please stop talking please about us stop. on your podcast. <laughs> We don't want to be your sponsor anymore because you are spreading misinformation. <laughs> but no, I guess I thought because it was like supposed to hydrate you that I would be peeing more often and I'm not. So that was also a nice surprise. That makes um, sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, I know for me, um, I, I do have a hard time. Um, that's part of why I'm not drinking enough water right now. Mm. Um, because it's just, it's like hard for me to like, A, be refilling my water thing that often during the day and mm-hmm. to be peeing a lot. I'm like by myself with this goddamn baby that wants me held all the time. Yeah. So anyway, I love you. Bye. <laughs> you shouldn't be listening to this. <laughs> yeah. In 15 years when she's listening, she's going to be like, man, ah, that was rude. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I thought today we could, we've covered some heavy stuff and, you know, some serious things. I thought we could do something that's like a little bit more of a hint of what we would normally be doing on Patreon. Um, but I thought we could do an ADHD like ick, like would you rather? Which is why Oh, I, I love this. Yes. To um our group chat. There's a group chat between me and my spouse and Katie and PK. Um, and I was like, okay, polling, what are your like sensory issues with ADHD? And we <laughs> We had a very lively discussion <laughs> the, about things. The group chat hate. blew up. <laughs> yes. So I have like a handful of these that I put together, like kind of based on things that we talked about, but things that I know just like are a sensory issue for a lot of people. Um, so I thought that I could ask you some would you rather questions. Okay. And we could like kind of discuss in between each one. Mm-hmm. And I will have you know, um, I titled this document ADHD ick but it shows up ADH dick <laughs> so that's a fun that's a fun component of this okay <laughs> here we go so would you rather go to a loud outdoor concert on a hot day or on a Friday afternoon on your way home from work Make a stop and be stuck in a long, long line in a busy store that's not moving. I would rather be stuck in line at a store. I think I would, too. Because, like, and so, like, when you describe that, I'm picturing, like, around Christmas. So, like, I'm in a winter coat and, Mm -hmm. like, already kind of probably sweaty and, like, trying to get in Mm -hmm. and out. So, like, I'm putting it in the context of that, Um, but when – usually when I go shopping, I put in my earbuds and I'm listening to a podcast, at least in one ear. Uh, So, hopefully, I have my earbuds with me. (laughs) I can just at least pop one in while I wait there and uh, scroll my phone or do something while I wait in line. But there's been times where like I've literally pulled up to a store and I'm <laughs> it's super busy. I'm like, not today. Nope. Can't <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> not going. I've done that Usually with stuff, with, like um, around Christmas time. Yeah, I've done that with um like places with a drive through. Like if I really want a coffee and then I see the line and I'm like, fuck it. I'm not even going to go in because there are no. some stores around us where I know if the drive through line is long, the indoor line is fine. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 And there's even times where I'm like, Mm-mm, no, because also yeah. there's also that thing of like, um, what will stop me too is if I see it's busy and I know it's a parking lot that's a bitch to navigate under. Oh like, yeah. Medium busy circumstances. Trader Joe's. Like, Fuck that place. Trying to get out Actually, of Trader tra- Joe's. So that that should that should have been the the would you rather a loud outdoor <laughs> concert on a hot day or Trader Joe's on a Friday after work before a holiday weekend concert. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my answer <laughs> because it I mean it is like between the parking lot I remember being terminally pregnant like literally like four days before I was induced I went to Trader Joe's and almost got run over by two different boomers in the parking lot and i wanted to be like 
why waddling? Mm -hmm. You can't slow down at (laughs) noon on a fucking Wednesday to let me cross. Well, and like our listeners don't know this, but you're like 5'1", maybe. Yes. (laughs) So like when you were at the end of your pregnancy, it did look like you had taken like a 40 inch medicine ball and just like shoved it under a shirt and like tried to navigate the the planet that way. Like, like I, you know, I've known people that are like, you know, five ten that got pregnant and they're like, you know, putting pictures online. It's like 30. Yeah. They put a, they put a basketball under their shirt and it's just like this nice little round, like bloop. No, you were Yeah, when you're a round. petite person and there is no I literally have like this much room between my hip bone and my rib cage. There's just no space. So it's like by the time I hit the end of pregnancy. She's holding her fingers is, about three inches apart, guys. Yeah. And I don't even think that's an exaggeration. I think there's literally like three inches between. I mean, them. honestly though, because like it's not like you're standing the whole time. So like when you sit down, everything scrunches up anyway, but then you like can't sit. There's like no there was just like you're such a small person <laughs> and you were there so pregnant no <laughs> room I was so fucking pregnant and it was so hot and I was just like it was one of the few times where I just like really wanted to go post all the parking lot and be like you fucking kidding me right now are you you're trying to run over the terminally pregnant woman in the parking lot so also you can go get calling your it terminal rookies. pregnancy is wild you're welcome because <laughs> I can't think of a better way to describe it But it's true. And that like, I mean, at least there's, so I went where that Trader Joe's is, there's a honey baked ham store next to it. And so I had to go there right before Christmas, actually, um, the Thursday before Christmas, because we got a ham for Christmas dinner and, um, that parking lot, there's like no fucking signs and it's like janky as hell, but you can like go the back way and at least have a light so that you could turn left out of there. But nobody mm-hmm. goes that way. They try to turn left out of the the parking lot to cross five lanes of traffic. Six, probably, probably closer On to six with like a turning road. lane. It's like yes. 50 feet from a traffic light intersection, um, yeah. like of two huge roads that are intersecting. So like mm-hmm. it is just a fucking nightmare of a place to try to turn left out of. And people do it all the time and it and they go slow yes like watching it happen makes me so anxious and like that that thursday before christmas i was like because my mom needs gluten-free things and i was like i'm trying to find gluten-free stuffing if anywhere has it it's got to be trader joe's right wrong so like i'm just like driving like trying to bolt in as quick as possible try to find somebody who works there and like you can't tell the difference between them and like a regular hippie that shops at Trader Joe's. So and like, the and the 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 congestion. Yeah, the aisles are Joe's. all at like a bizarro angle. So I finally find my, this person. My spouse and I was like, literally will not go into Trader Joe's. Like no. won't go. Is like it's too stressful. I it was feel my overwhelmed. second time being go. in there, and I don't. I. It's not worth it to me. Like I don't. I love it, but I will only go at like bizarro hours. That would be the only thing – that would be the only time I would go because, yeah. like, I finally found this woman and I was like, um, do you have gluten-free stuffing? And she was like, no, we only have that around Thanksgiving. And I was like, it is December 21st. Thanksgiving it's was the exactly four weeks ago. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah and Trader that's just Joe's it. has a big, like, turnover in what they're putting out. Right. And I was like – Yeah. But for – at least for Americans, like, those holidays are back-to-back. Yeah. And have effectively the same foods. They're like, like a few weeks apart. Like plenty of people have like a roasted bird of some sort on yeah. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So like having stuffing with your Christmas dinner is also extremely normal. So yeah. I was like baffled that she was like, mm, no, which like just pissed me off. But I was just like, and then of course the time of year, you're like trying to navigate this parking lot while staring directly into the sun. And like, yeah. Oh, it was just, it was horrible. It was horrible. So yes, I would pick a concert in that situation. That's a, that's reasonable. Um, would you rather, we'll put this in terms of all day. So would you rather for a full day okay. be wearing ill-fitting clothing? So something that's like too tight or has a seam in a weird spot. Or like your or bra strap is like constantly falling Sliding down. down. Oh, so annoying. So that. Or would you rather have your socks slide down inside of your shoe all day? 
That's really tough, Garrett. I know. Do I, am I pulling up the sock and then it goes back down or does it just staying scrunched well, up? Well, yeah, because I mean, like, it's like, you know, your bra strap or whatever. You're like, that's the ill-fitting clothes you're constantly adjusting. I think I would rather have the ill-fitting clothes because I'm going to fidget anyway. <laughs> I think I might rather have the sock and the shoe. Hmm. Yeah, I guess like when that happens, it usually is happening when I'm wearing my Uggs. <laughs> Because I'm not wearing like super tall socks. Yeah. So then it'll get squished down. And at least in that case, the lining of the Ugg boot is also very comfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah. But like, so I can make it work. But if I was in mm -hmm. like a sneaker and that was happening, because then it's going to like push on the arch of my foot and like cause pain. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I still think I would pick the ill-fitting clothing. Like, even if I'm, like, on vacation doing, like, touristy things and walking around all day, I'd rather have the ill-fitting clothing than something fucking with my feet. That's reasonable. Yeah. Um, would you would you rather have a wet sleeve or a wet sock? I would rather have a wet sleeve. I think I would also rather have a wet sleeve. Yeah. Because the wet sleeve also, when that usually happens to me, I can like roll because I'm not much taller than Garrett, folks. So I can roll the mm -hmm. sleeve back a little bit. And so that way the wet part isn't touching me. Isn't it's touching, touching you. Me. Yeah. Yeah. So I can like finagle it. Um, yeah. But. <laughs> but. Wet sock. Yeah. That always. And it always. It happened to me a lot in undergrad because I went to undergrad on Long Island and that campus, um, your friend who also went there when I was there, who I never met, <laughs> yeah, um, weird. can tell you that campus floods. Like it's, it's so, um, I would, I had like rain boots eventually to walk to class because mm -hmm. I would get to class. My feet would be soaked. The bottoms of my pants would be soaked. Cause this was before <sighs> the skinny mm -mm. jean thing was really taking off. And then have to sit in lecture. And so at the end of the day, and I would make my schedule so all my classes were grouped together because the campus was fucking huge. Huge, yeah. Um, and you had 10 minutes between classes. Like, it was just the whole thing. So anyway, um, but I'd finally get back to my dorm at the end of the day and, like, change into, uh, like, sweats or whatever. And my toes would be all pruny <laughs> from being Isn't wet the all day. Like, when you get, like, trench foot <laughs> from walking around, like – the, the thought of like wet feet well that's like there was a there was a day that um i was walking into work and we just got this like freak storm first thing in the morning and i by the time i got into the building after the block walk my clothes were completely soaked oh, yeah. uh, for power outage and i decided that i was not going to wait for the all clear um, and them sending everybody home. I just left. I was like, I, I can't sit here in wet clothes longer than the two hours I've already been waiting. So bye. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. So yeah, I would rather have the, um, wet sleeve. not wet. Yeah. The, I would rather have the wet sleeve option. Would you rather listen to someone clicking a pen in a meeting or your pet licking their feet? in a meeting <laughs> so do i hate this noise or i'd rather i think i'd rather have the clicking pen yeah i think i would also rather have a clicking pen i mean i hate them both would you rather have to listen to a clicking pen in a meeting or have somebody um sit next to you in a meeting who is like scratching their dandruff onto you pen i would rather have a clicking pen <laughs> speaking from experience a bolt <laughs> <laughs> um would you rather have that like so again we'll put this in terms of like all day Okay. So all day, would you rather have that like fuzzy tooth, like need to brush your teeth feeling or have a runny nose and be like, sniffling all day? I 
I would rather have the fuzzy tooth feeling, I think. I think so, too. Although every time I talk to people, I would be like shielding my mouth. Yeah, I wouldn't let people get very close to me. (laughs) I would do my best, I think, to just like constantly be drinking something Mm -hmm. um, so that it would mask the feeling of fuzziness. Mm -hmm. But I do have my Colgate wisps in my desk now at work, so I can quickly get the fuzz off my teeth, I guess. Get the fuzz. Get the fuzz off. Um, would you rather the corner of the fitted sheet coming off of your mattress and your foot touching the mattress? Or would you rather get into bed and find r- like a random piece of laundry tangled in your feet? I'd rather have the the random piece of laundry tangled in my feet. I think so too. Yeah. I mean, if my foot touches the mattress, I'm like, Ugh. I just want to like, because also I feel like, like granted, I don't really, I don't take care of my body, but, um, <laughs> so like, I don't put lotion on my feet when I get out of the shower. So like mm-hmm. my feet have calluses and are scratchy. Too, yeah. So yeah. like touching the mattress is like having that microfiber cloth yep. feeling. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I feel like that's why it would drive me nuts. And then also because yeah, I am a picker my feet would just be like fucking with the corner of the sheet and like pulling it off more. <laughs> yeah. I, for whatever reason. And I, I feel like they used to make fitted sheets with like pockets like this thick because I remember yeah. it happening all the time as a kid Yes, where, and, and I feel like the elastic used to wear out really quick on sheets. So it was just like, I just They've gotten much better than happening. that. Like, yes, that was one of the few times that the corporations truly listened to what consumers were screeching about, um, and like made a difference. I I have Martha Stewart's sheets that I got from Macy's, and mm-hmm. um, they're the best sheets. They're like so soft. They're so sturdy. They I haven't had any issues with them. Yeah, the um, I used to get uh, Ralph Lauren those. I don't know how you pronounce it. The percale. Mm-hmm. sheets where it's like that crispy cotton mm-hmm. um i have a couple sets of those that we've had for like 10 years and yeah. they just wear so well and they're just really good sheets so i just got us a set from quince um for our bed mm. so that we can alternate between those and the linen sheets yeah um and i'm really pumped because i do like a good heavy cotton like Me crispy too. sheet yeah oh, um so nice would you rather Brush your teeth with wet hands. <laughs> this or, is from my contribution to the group chat, folks. <laughs> or wash your face and have the water run down your forearms. I know, right? Uh, I guess I'd rather wash my face and have the water run down. I don't know. I They're both bad. I think yeah. I would rather I would rather brush my teeth with wet hands. You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> because there's like nothing worse to me than like any situation where the water runs down my uh, runs down my arm. Yeah, no, I mean I guess I Yeah, usually I'm in my pajamas when I'm getting ready like when I'm doing like washing my face and brushing my teeth so like if I was wearing it would depend well see but the water is still gonna run down my wrist if I'm brushing my teeth with wet hands so like either way I'm having a bad time so yeah either way it's a sensory nightmare yeah I, I I just hate holding my toothbrush with wet hands I can hold a hairbrush with wet hands that doesn't bother me but no actually I don't Mm want to hold anything with wet hands but no, I for sure now that once you said that, actually, it doesn't bother me as much now because I have the toothbrushes that I buy have wooden handles. Mm, so they absorb it. They're not as bad. The plastic ones, ugh, don't like that. Don't like yeah. that at all. Not a good feeling. Um, And I have one more. Okay. Which combination 
of tired, hot, and hungry would make you the worst version of yourself. So like, like fuck Mary Kill for tired, hot, hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like would tired and hot make you worse, or were tired and hungry make you worse, or would hot and hungry make you worse? I think hot and hungry would make me worse because that's going to make me feel even more lightheaded. And that like headachey, lightheaded feeling mm. is what's going to make me snap the fastest. Yeah. I think I think hot and hungry. Really hot and anything. <laughs> Definitely hot and hungry. Um makes me a I'm just a bear. I'm just a bear to deal with. I'm just miserable mm. and I'm pissy and I don't want to hear your suggestions and I'm um I'm the worst version of myself. When those, I when saw those these happens. um I've been like influenced by the social medias at this point to buy several things for our trip to Europe this year. But one of the things is this like little pocket sized fan that's like a battery powered fan oh and you should have like, told me i have so many fan <laughs> options well so because i know like the last so the last time i was like really in europe for the summer it was 2008 um so the but the thing i got it like doubles as like a battery bank for your phone and it has this fan but the oh, last nice. time i was there we all got <laughs> we were so fucking hot we all got like the folding fans so that we could like yeah. air ourselves out because it is like just it just sticks to you and it's like the most uncomfortable when you're in like a group tour or whatever just in a crowded place and um I knew like I know that about PK that he hates being hot um it makes mm -hmm. him like especially if he's getting sweaty he gets like really self-conscious about it that's and why we got married in January <laughs> that's literally reasonable. the whole reason why we got married in the winter time that's fair yeah yeah um and uh, so I got one for him as well. And I was like, between if we're stuck in an airplane on the tarmac, um, like any number of those things where like there just Carrying isn't things, airflow. Schlepping around, all of that. Yeah. So, um, but I got those fans for us because I was like, mm -mm, I, I want it. And it's in my little like essentials bag that I'm going to have with me at all times. So. For me, anyway, I, I don't know what he's doing with his, but <laughs> I carry those like paper fans every mm -hmm. like I have them in my purses, diaper bags, car, travel stuff, like on my desk at work. Like I always because there's sometimes we're like I don't don't have a fan, don't want to carry a whole fan around, but those like fit in almost anything, mm -hmm. and it's just really handy when you just need to like cool off a little bit. Like I'm just a little, I just want to keep myself from getting like. And it's, it's the same thing with like taking an ice cube and like running it over your temple, mm -hmm. but it like the, the, the flowing air can, it mm -hmm. just makes me feel like I can take a deep breath again. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. so it, it is really helpful, but yeah, that's something that I got for us because I was like, mm, no, it's, I'm not going to, <laughs> to Paris and wherever the fuck Germany to in the middle of 90 degree weather and not having something to cool off with at all times. Although I'm trying to think when we went, it was not super hot. Not, I mean, it was hot, but it was like comfortable. It wasn't. the So the reason that I'm concerned about the heat is because we'll, mm -hmm. we'll be in Paris. So it's a city. And so that's going mm -hmm. to feel hotter. Hotter, and yeah, then definitely. I'm not so worried about um, too much about Germany because when we're in the south of Germany, we'll be in the Alps. And then um, we'll be in way northern Germany, which will be mm -hmm. much cooler. So I'm not like super, super worried. But it was the thought of getting stuck on an airplane waiting to taxi mm -hmm. where that was where I was like, oh, I've had that happen before. And it gets stuffy so quick because quick. they're not circulating the air right. like the same way or something. Um, so, yeah, I was like. And I feel like because you're not up, it's not as yes. cool. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So those different things, but yeah, no, those are sense. Somebody mentioned, we actually mentioned it. Um, we talked about it at dinner last night when we were out with friends and somebody mentioned something when he's cleaning with bleach and it mm -hmm. gets on your hands and your hands feel slimy or like any oh, yeah. like cleaning product. And I was like, Oh, that's a good, one. that's a good one. Yeah. That's gross. I hate that. <laughs> yeah. No, and, there's uh, a, a microfiber. I definitely 
have a hard time with. Yeah. Um, there, there's just, it's funny because like <laughs> things will happen. And in my head, I'm like, huh? Like, is this just a me thing or is this like everybody hates it? Is this me being a lot or is this really mm-hmm. just a horrible feeling thing? Um, like, um, you know, you'll read on like uh, those lists. Oh, I have, I have like, a would you rather. Oh, yeah. Let's hear it. Would you rather wear a headband that's too tight behind your ears? Oh, I hate that. Or a brand new hair tie on your wrist that's too tight <gasps> and hasn't been stretched out yet? I think the hair tie, because I feel like this would give me a headache eventually. But I also have like a very round head, so I have that trouble anyway. <laughs> it's a sensation that I do with pretty regularly. I swear to God, I don't wear like headbands a ton. yeah, headbands and a lot of glasses. Like I always have to fuck with my glasses and where they sit behind my ears because I don't know if it's just like I have an especially sensitive pressure point back there or something, Mm -hmm. but it's almost like that part of it'll make my ear numb if it sits there for too long. Yeah. There's like certain things that I I just can't like do for long periods. Like I can't wear earbuds for a long time. Um, Even the loop stuff that like the silicone ones that are comfortable. I, it's like, I, like I have to adjust holes are very sensitive um, and it's the same thing. Um, like if my nose gets dry, breathing in and out of my nose, I like can't, I mm-hmm. can't. Um, and there was another one too that like really anything, um, anything like with my hair, like I can't have it too tight. Um, I know like it's very long right now, so I can't put it in a ponytail because it pulls. Mm. and it'll give me a headache it's just like the sensation of it is awful um i know like i had to you'll read there's always those lists that are floating around especially when the algorithm starts pushing all the baby stuff but you'll get like people will be like oh baby products that i wasted my money on and you'll always see those little like spatula things for like diaper cream and and shit yeah so to, like get it out of the container or something right so it doesn't to get spread it yeah, to like yeah. apply it and people will be like, that was such a waste. Of- I don't understand why people buy it. And I was like, I cannot tell you the thought of having desitin on my fingers and under my fingernails. Ugh. Like part of the part of the trouble, like when I'm here by myself, is washing my hands after a diaper change. I got to like find a place to stick this kid who's now going to scream at me because I was just holding her and now I'm not. Um, so... I use them 100% of the time. Like I have one in my diaper bag and I have one with her diaper change stuff at home. And I use those because the the sensory, the thought of desitin doesn't, it's got the zinc in it. So it doesn't like wash off easily. Right. It doesn't even come off when you give her a bath really. So it's like the thought of that being on my fingers all day. What? And catching every like dust and whatever else that you touch throughout the day. <laughs> Going to eat something and smelling desitin? Huh. Can't. Shan't. Couldn't be me. Um, so yeah, that's one of those. That's another one of those like tactile things. And I'm like, oh, I hate this. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I started like thinking about it. I'm like, oh, we should play a would you rather game. Yeah. So we'll have to like, we'll have to add to this. Like as time goes on, we'll have to do other, um, you know, additions of yeah. ADHD would you rather. Like, I kept thinking about like, oh, would you rather have an appointment that's like, you know, in the middle of the day to where you don't know if you want to leave early or late or do you want to be like in waiting mode all day and, you know, like unable to accomplish anything because, you know, you have an appointment, like things like that. I wanted I wanted to do some that were like executive function, but um, couldn't think of them. So um <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can come up with some more. And I do, I mean, just for some things that are on the horizon, I do want to talk about demand demand avoidance. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that would be a good one. So we'll have that coming up. Um, and we may t- touch on some more sleep things too. Because mm. um, we had talked about some additional sleep topics. So we have those on the horizon. Um, I have ideas should, too. I just can't think of them right now. We should talk about our, um, we're, we want to do like a, a hyper, a monthly hyper fixation episode. Um, yeah, you know, we talk about whatever 
rabbit hole we have fallen down or thing that we're obsessed with or which I think will be next week's episode um yeah yeah yeah. and I'm really excited because I have fallen deep into it (laughs) I'm also very excited about that um and uh, what other what other things do we have going on I feel like those are the big ones yeah I mean today today's episode is the day before international women's day so oh there we go yeah what a time to fucking celebrate with all the horrific things going on um, <laughs> um yeah I, I just saw a, a meme about um the oh no you sent it to me it was about the um the IVF in Alabama and it was one of the the Edinburgh uh, was it I don't know actually I don't know I know it was in Scotland that Willy Wonka oh, um, yeah. experience <laughs> um yeah what a what a time to be identifying as a woman um what other do we have any other items i don't think we do no um but make sure you're following us on instagram and threads at the bars ankle high and we're on tiktok at ankle high pod you can get some merch at bit.ly slash ankle high merch we have our brand new um unpaid intern merch that's up there um and like our new logo designs and things like that so you can go order that stuff whenever you want. Um, we have our Patreon, as I said at the beginning at bit or at patreon.com slash the bar is ankle high. And the best way to support us without spending any money is of course, to follow us on all those social media channels, but also to leave us a five-star review everywhere you find us. Um, anywhere that lets you write out a review is definitely amazing. Um, Apple podcasts springs to mind. But anywhere that you want to leave us a review, we are happy to see it and um, super excited every time. So uh, it's kind of like, you know, supporting any other small business, like the impact that you have is so much bigger um, than, you know, running into Walmart and grabbing something. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it has been just so heartwarming to have so many new listeners who, um, you know, participate in our weekly episode polls and say, you know, they found us from a Reddit recommendation or somebody suggested us to them. And it's just like amazing. Like it's, it's just, it makes us feel so good. Um, so and we it, love, I mean, it, we it really it. like very directly, literally the second that somebody says something like that to us or sends us something or what we are contacting each other, like, flipping out with every single compliment we get so just yes it has not gotten old don't worry (laughs) really hasn't (laughs) it only takes like this much um (laughs) so definitely make sure to if you're writing out that review that's it's a great way to support a small business owned by women yeah can you not want to do that it's international women's day Day. (laughs) god don't be such a Kendall about it. <laughs> um, and welcome to all our new listeners. We have a ton of new listeners. So so many. Um, if this is where you're starting, <laughs> we do get more serious and we cover more things and we do actually research things, but not today. <laughs> no, we did a lot of that recently, so we needed a break. Not so much. <laughs> Burnout is real, guys. <laughs> Burnout is real, and we sometimes need to just uh, do something fun and something that makes us laugh. So that's what we did today was Would You Rather. Um, That was fun. I liked it a lot, actually. That was great. Oh, and tell us what your answers would be to this, you guys. Um, Oh, yeah. I want to – and I would also love to hear other other things that we can totally incorporate in future editions of Would You Rather. Send us in your Would You Rathers. And we'll use those in our next Would You Rather episode. Yeah, I love that. We should do a, an Instagram poll um, yeah. after this episode or when this episode comes out. Um, so, yeah, we will um, talk to everybody next week. And remember to keep your socks dry. Keep your socks dry. And your hands dry and your sleeves dry. Don't let wetness be anywhere it shouldn't be, okay? (laughs) Because the bar is ankle high.